All right, Coach, the opening statement. Uh, again, uh, really, um, really solid victory by our team. Obviously, a lot of credit to Northwood on that first drive. Had a couple bank posts and then uh, threw a nice ball. Man, uh, did a good job getting off to a good start. Their quarterback did and uh, got the ball back. I thought probably one of the biggest plays of the game was uh, we had a third down with a backed up. Kate kind of kept it alive. Uh, threw back across the middle, and uh, Daryl Johnson makes a great play on third down to keep the keep the thing alive. After that, you know, started rolling. They got a, a couple times. They got a couple first downs, but we kind of dug in and kept getting the stops. And our offense was just extremely efficient in the first half. Um, I think that was six possessions. Uh, we had six touchdowns, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, blocked a punt for a score or two in that first half. And um, you know, that before the end of the uh, half, wanted to try to get to 49, so it felt a little more comfortable subbing some guys out at halftime. And uh, that's what we did. Uh, second half pretty much was the entire second group. Thought our defense, uh, second group of defense did a good job uh, against their starters most of the way. Um, not too many yards rushing and uh, played some uh, adequate pass defense and kind of got that stop where they held them to the field goal uh, down their end. And then you know, offensively um, did, did a good job. Special teams, Daryl Johnson got big, you know, big uh, punt return. So, it was good for that uh, second unit in the second half to get a lot of experience. We can coach off the tape and continue to grow off of that. And um, again, I think off the top of my head, this was a turnover free game um, mm -hmm. off the top of my head. So a huge back-to-back -back weeks. We have not turned the ball over and we were able to force some turnovers and make some plays. And so a lot of guys stepped up. I do want to you know, give a mention to Denzel Williams, um, who's oh, a yeah. transfer uh, that came to us and had series of events in uh, summer and fall camp where he was not cleared, he just got cleared, and he had an impact tonight. Um, he ran down the first kickoff, really kind of set the tone for our entire team, and then he was the one that blocked the punt, put him in position. So, um, you know, kind of a little microcosm of our team has stayed very hungry, um, has a tremendous amount of humility, um, even though he's injured, stayed locked in, and I'm really happy for him individually because uh, he has really stayed true to the process, even in the face of injury, and he's kind of stuck through it. So. A lot of guys played tonight. Um, didn't have too many guys that, uh, you know, did did too many touches. It was also good to get Hunter going uh, to my right. I had some jet sweeps to him, and then you know turned a hitch into a touchdown. Uh, made some other plays. I don't know how he's so wide open on the one, but he had the wide open on the post, and Kate put the ball on him. And so, uh, really key was still a couple receivers out uh, that I was glad because Hunter's put in a lot of work, um, and he is very much a leader of this team too. For him to have some. Some individual success along with the rest of our offense too, and then I'm looking here. Cal to Cal was four for four, 63 yards. So good for Cal. So that's it. Well, coach, let's ask you first about your milestone. First mm. of all, are you cold from that ice bath still? <laughs> and what's it feel like to get 100 wins? Uh, it, it, it hit hit me a little bit when they uh, what they put on. Um, you know, it, uh, it feels good. I think uh, you know, it. Uh, I've had a lot of great mentors. I've had a lot of great. Um, assistant coaches, um, a lot of great players, obviously, you know, along the way. And so it's one of those numbers, um, you know, at some point in time when the crews over reflect back upon this win, you know, those type of things. But um, happy, happy to get 100. I appreciate the recognition by our athletic department and people for the 100 wins. Uh, it was not done alone. It was done a lot with, with a lot of great people, um, especially in this building, uh, week in, week out. So, um, but we will enjoy the 100. We will enjoy the victory. Um, but we all very much know what's happening, um, you know, six days from now. And, uh, there's going to be a really, really big game against Paris State. So uh, we'll put this one to bed tomorrow, and we'll kind of get to work and um, try to work, work our butt off, try to get 101 um, as we move forward. And that's what I told the guys in the locker room. Hunter, uh, it's phenomenal first half, six receptions, 106 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, previewing next week a little bit, first game against Ferris. What are you looking forward to? Uh, just the environment, the enthusiasm from the guys. Uh, we're just ready to go to work. Um, not really just treating it like, you know, just the, the holy grail of the game. You know, we're going to come in and attack each week like we've been attacking the rest of them. So um, just looking forward to go to work with the guys and uh, just, just get them up on film. Okay, the offense has been really good week in and week out, but the last two weeks it seems like the downfield passing has really taken its next step. What's been the elevation and the growth that you've seen in the passing game here these last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a combination of some things. Uh, it's a combination of the work that we put in, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, it's a combination of defensive schemes. You know, there's a lot that goes into it, but yeah, it does feel good to have that, and it feels good that we're building on that. So, okay, what's it like having a weapon like Hunter? Uh, on the field and uh, on, on that long bomb, the 52 yarder, was that to Hunter? Because I thought there was two receivers like right there. Uh, 
I'm not sure what you're referring to, but it's great having him. Obviously, it's, a, it's great having him. He's a great leader. A lot of guys look up to him. Obviously, a great football player and, and just a great person to be around. You know, he's my guy on the field and off the field. So it's a blessing to have him. I'm happy that he came into this program. Um, last one for me, Coach. It's sort of an odd one. Your, your kicker, you're using your backup kicker. Yeah. And this guy, who I wasn't even on the roster number wise, mm -hmm. and he had 10 extra points. Yeah, proud of Colin. Um, Josh Gorbaugh started kicker, uh, suffered an injury on the opening kickoff. And um, so we had to go to Colin, pulled his, pulled his red shirt. I had a conversation with him that, hey, you're going to have to go. Uh, this might just be a short term injury. And so got him out there. He has been taking reps, and I would give him a lot of credit since he first showed up as a true freshman on August. Uh, fifth, he has continued to improve in week in, week out, and uh, you know, with good protection, good snaps, good holds, a good job. And he got pressed into some kickoff duty too uh, because of the injury to Josh Corbell. So we'll evaluate the injury to Josh, see what it's like heading into the Ferris game. But I'm uh, really proud of Colin as a true freshman stepping into that moment and, and being ready to go. Okay. Defensively, they go down score in the opening possession. What was the what was what were the, some of the adjustments made? Well, you know, I don't think we panicked. Um, the two balls they caught were bang posts and a cover three. Um, you know, that schematically, uh, you know, the potential there was a good throw, good catch. Um, I don't think we're in a very good position pre-snap on the one touchdown and man coverage. Um, so, you know, they, they ran single width, we ran corners over. I don't think we we're quite ready for that. You know, I don't know, you know, to our kids' credit, our coaches' credit, I don't think we, like, uh, hit the panic button completely through the game plan out the window. Um, we gave them credit for a couple plays. And again, like, we're in a couple calls that, that potentially could have happened, you know. So, you know, maybe some adjustments on, on what we were going to do. But, you know, this this defense is still built, built on stopping the run. And I thought for the most part, um, you know, we did that. Held the 95 yards rushing on 34 attempts. Um, that's a pretty good average per carry. And... Uh, didn't uh, you know? Didn't push panic button on the sideline. Just kind of got with JT Webb and said, "Hey, we got to do this a little bit better." And away we went. Coach, one more for you. The big key for you was third down conversions. I think at one point yeah. they were three of thirteen on third down conversions. What was the key to getting Goldsmith locked up and keeping them with third and not so manageable? Yeah, I mean, I think it was because we were efficiency on first and second down. You know, after the full opening drive, um, I think I can maybe think of my in my mind of maybe one one explosive run. But other than that, we did a good job. They were a lot of RPOs, and I thought that we stopped the run when they handed it off and provided enough coverage that we made the throw difficult. We got him into some third and longs and uh, made him a little more comfortable area. And then I take a look at us right here. You know, Jake, we're five and seven on third down, which is phenomenal. And some of those were a little long yardage. It's really nice as a head coach. I'm sure offensive staff, you know, you got a quarterback, receivers, offensive line, an offense that you can trust that when it's third and 10, you're not dead in the water. And uh, that's how it felt tonight that we didn't, you know, we're out there on third downs. I don't think anybody panicked even if it was third and 12, third and 10, that we were, you know, had confidence we were gonna pick it up. How important was it late in the game the result of the game is over, but to, to continue to run your offense to get your, your guys work. Well, 100%. That's why, you know, Cal Peter, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Cal Endicott came in there and, like, you know, we said we're going to throw it. You know, it's four for four. And I thought did a nice job on um, our play, you know, to Tillman. And, and we just really wanted to get Cal experience, you know. I think Cal's came in now in back to back games with Saginaw Valley and obviously Northwood. And he's, he's run our offense efficiently and, and thrown the ball well. And uh, we ran the ball with our backup old line. You know, I thought our backup old line did a really good job with some runs, then we had some guys that were really, really physical kind of finishing runs too. So yeah, when I told those guys, like we're gonna run our offense, we're not gonna do it in our shell. There was a point in the fourth quarter where we were trying to get all of our tailbacks out. And so Jakari Kruk and I thought did a nice job coming in and getting his first college action ever, uh, running the ball. And that's the same thing with Avery too. Avery's put in a lot of work. We have a lot of confidence in Avery. So it's good to get Avery to, uh, you know, I know he didn't throw it, but uh, we ran some runs to him and did some things and that's still valuable action as he moves forward. Matt, did you have some uh, number twos, especially on defense, who earned your trust and a little more confidence? I mean, one guy that I thought out there today was Four Queen. Yeah, you know, I agree. Very yeah, active. Hundred percent, Tom. Yeah, no, I was going to say when you had uh, that question, Isaiah did a good job. He was good in coverage. Fourth down, they ran a screen again. They burn us on the first one. He comes up early, makes a nice, really nice play on that. Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, I thought our defensive line, and you know, we had all backups in there. Uh, was not getting super displaced, you know, was not really getting uh, pushed back or blown off too bad. So that was kind of good to see. And again, uh, you know, I know Denzel Williams and Jake Archibald got a lot of reps out there at the nickel position. And I thought for the most part, you know, they played pretty well. And, um, you know, Petrito too had played some safety and normal action was getting a little more action at the end too. So good to see him. I got to watch tape, you know, to completely evaluate it. But, um, you know, we, we did get a one red zone stop, created a turnover, did some things positive, you know, with our second group out there. Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks for your time. Appreciate it.